searching for silly things to do at Nord House. Among many other curious things, you develop a fossil fancy at Nord House, because after a couple of weeks, it feels like you did it all. You are never bored, but Nord House is always so interesting that you are always searching for more interesting things to do. No matter what it is that you are searching for, you are bound to find a fossil of some ancient plant. But when fossil finding becomes second nature, you search for alternate activities. I once scientifically remembered that yelling obscenities eases pain. So one morning, when the water was still cold, I decided to test that strange theory. And I guess it works. I chose that four-letter word that Simon and Garfunkel once referred to as the old familiar suggestion. Come to think of it, I was going to yell it anyways because of how cold the water was. And I probably found some fossils on my way back, I dare say. Another time, I set off for a long adventure to check if I could see the big sable lighthouse. As far as the beach goes... The lighthouse is the northernmost feature of the state park. So if you head south from North House, it may be possible to see it, or so I thought. I think maybe it was too far for me to travel, though I half remember mist being in my way. On my way back from my little expedition, I started searching for a nice place to sit and rest a little bit and I discovered this strange dry cove with hundreds of exposed rocks. I guess when the water level is higher, it fills up with water. It quickly became my fossil hunting spot. I'd set off in the morning, and by noon have a little baggie of strange and mysterious rocks. But there was never an end to interesting things. Funny seagulls and somewhat frightening frogs would always come by for a photo. Occasionally, I'd stumble upon some driftwood. I would build tall horses out of the little bits and paint the big ones. On one of my adventures, I started taking photos of all the sunsets, which are very beautiful at Lake Michigan. And if there was nothing going on in the beach, the ancient forest was just a hop away. It turned out that acorns and mushrooms are very photogenic. Once I found all the fossils that I could carry, I'd begin searching for arrowheads. But I think maybe thousands of people tried that exercise before me. So I just started searching for rocks that looked like arrowheads. And I found a couple. There's a lot of time to think about life and nature at North House. And Call of the Wild, big or small, is absolutely a real thing. You begin wondering about walking the long trails, Appalachian Trail, Continental Divide Trail, and the Pacific Crest Trail. I think there are many hidden adventurers that would find those trails to be great medicine and a source of great health. I would always cheerfully return from my long adventures and with a notebook full of programming and art ideas and get programming. The one time, I enjoyed the beach sand in my car so much that I just didn't want to get rid of it. And sure as heck, few days later, I cheerfully drove back to Nord House and got some more fossils to add to my strange little collection. It was a double vacation, I guess. <laughs>